Slide and glide on the beat like we're beefing Come back season, grind for a reason Used to chop the bread and the stew in the evening Now we all feasting, uptown eating Yo, gal in the dance then I'm leaving I'm a lover boy, not a Yoruba demon That itty real biggie is pleasing Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Mary Colette here. How you doing? This is a brand new vlog after obviously all the wedding series. Um, as of right now, as I speak to you, I haven't done put out any wedding series, but I'm hoping that you guys have obviously been waiting and you love it and you've enjoyed it so far. Um, so yeah, back to life as usual. The world doesn't revolve around me anymore. <laughs> yeah, back to work. Um, I came to the Palms Mall to um, film because I have, I'm working with Essenza for the uh, Find Your Shade campaign, is it? I came to pick up my foundation and a couple of things that I need to film the video and I just got my bag, my gift bag, what is that? Oh, shopper, yeah, this is, this is, this is the front of the bag, yeah. So I got like an Essenza box. I also tried on another foundation. I have been eyeing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I was able to find my shade by scanning a barcode. They gave me a small sample to go home and try. It's a, it looks a little lighter than me, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try it when I get home and then see if it works and if I like it, if I like the consistency, all that jazz. And then yeah, that should be fun. So that's it. Today has been quite hectic but we are here hello happy bank holiday welcome everybody welcome 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 everybody back. it's a banger all right <laughs> what do you know about that cc 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 oh my darling hey babe oh my darling baby love for me you know i've been loving you love love you love my money you know you need this love and love good morning guys we're Colette here how are you doing i'm coming at you with a fresh face um got my life back you know nefertiti hair you guys know that for my birthday i had ponytail that ponytail though i don't know i just wanted like a classy look I, I contemplated getting braids um for my birthday this year but i realized that i did braids last year and i was like oh, come on live a little do something different so i figured i'll do a ponytail and that lasted all of what three four days because the ponytail itself just kept coming off it was just not cute I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Moving forward, if I'm gonna get a ponytail, I'm just gonna get invest in like human hair and it has to be sewed on my hair. That detachable pee. Yeah, not my vibe. Not my vibe. Anyway, today's the 7th of May and today we are going to Radisson. It's so weird how Radisson has been a very, very pivotal part of our lives. We used the Radisson jetty to get to Ilashe, then did my birthday dinner over there and now they've invited us for a weekend stay on them so i and Ilo are going for a weekend stay at radisson this morning actually check-in is at 12. we have a bunch of stuff to do we have spa dinner Ilo has a little bit of work as well i have some work to do so today's going to be today's going to be quite a busy day but we're going to make it work we would make it work we always make it work um i don't know if i showed you guys my hair but i got fulani braids done um, the last time I did Fulani braids, I loved it so much. I had to do it again. But this time, I did a different style. This is like the classic Fulani braid style. And I got it with like curly, curly tips. You guys know that. I love me. I love my, I love my French curls, okay? So yeah, I had to get Fulani braids with French curls. And like, they're as long. They're like bum length. So it's like, so long, so curly, so cute. So they just took the light, as you guys have seen. Actually, light in my area has been epileptic for a while now. So it's been just a hot, hot mess. Anyway, um, I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys, but 
I might just have to wait till I get to Radisson to do that. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna pack up our stuff. The box is already here. Um, and yeah, so from here on out, the next clip you see would probably be us on the way to Radisson and then I can finish up my unboxing and then whatever else I want to do today. But yeah, guys, good morning. got here just checked in and it's looking amazing so far so let me give you guys a little tour of the room so this is the hallway step in this is the room I particularly love this mirror this is me um, they had us they gave us like mimosas when we first came in that's done obviously the beautiful bed I like this space as well. The chair is really nice. And this for me is the best part of the room. Oh, just look at that. You guys know I'm such a water girl. So like a room with the view of the ocean and the pool right there. We're going to go swim in a bit. And then they have this little corner as well that you can sit and just, you know, take in the view. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. So yeah, that's the tour. back from the pool right now and they scheduled me in for like a facial and a massage the facial was actually really good like they helped me do like some extractions tweezed some hair on my face and it was just a really really good good time so right now I have to do my makeup because we have like a dinner coming up very soon so I need to do my makeup for that I've also decided to use this opportunity to create content for Essenza. my foundation is the black up foundation so i got my shade in the black up foundation they also gave me a whole box of like really nice things so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys two fenty match sticks oh i think this is like the most exciting this is the new fenty icon lipstick i got this in the brown shade this is the shade breadwinner oh i've had my eye on this tinted moisturizer for a while now because you know that's what them girlies use for the no makeup makeup look you know so this is what that looks like hopefully that's not too dark for me you know i'm just going to turn this camera right now to portrait mode <laughs> that's how i create my content for instagram this is my setup this is the setup that i want to use right now let me bring the light closer yep tilt this a little bit and we're ready <laughs> i'll see you guys when i'm done <sighs> oh my god what a day what a long day it's been um it's finally what's this oh my god 10 52 p.m right now it's time to go to bed. I just need to take off my makeup. I just finished filming 
my proposal video, um, story time. It was really fun, way more fun than I thought it was going to be. To be honest, I was this close to moving it again and like just saying, you know what, I'll do it some other time. But I just told myself, you know what? If I don't do this video tonight, I probably wouldn't do it again. So I did to just do it and I filmed it and it turned out really, really good. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I mean, I feel like by the time you guys are watching this video, you must have seen the proposal story time. So I can't wait to see your reactions because I feel like you guys saw it on the internet, but you don't know the nitty gritty of what happened on that day from my side. So yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. But it's time to unwind. So I'm just gonna play some music. done guys let me put you on so you guys know i worked recently with l'occitane and all their products smell so good i figured their body sprays and perfumes will smell even better you see this if you love to smell fresh if you want if you love body sprays and everything and you love to smell fresh bye <sighs> time to go to bed i'll see you guys in the morning guys we just finished filming this is where we sat for our shoots we just did our q and a it went really really well Hey guys, so today is Friday and we are shooting a collaborative shoot today somewhere on the mainland. By the way, just came here to get my hair done at the Bell store. It was supposed to be a blonde wig, but they didn't tell me that I wasn't supposed to go do my braids. So because of my braids, we couldn't do the wig on my head. So I have had to style my braids somehow. And yeah, so today I'm collaborating with a stylist, makeup artist and photographer who you guys are going to see very soon in this vlog um, to create really stunning pictures. So I'm here with the amazing, but we have plenty amazing right now. I'm here with the amazing Mary Colette. And then, you know, we're yeah. shooting today. This beautiful woman, that's, that's Mary Colette, not me. Not me. I'm like, so you guys know me already. But yeah, I'm interested in what we are going to achieve. Can you see her fine smile? Yes. She has money too, so be like. Hey.
guys voice over mc here so right after my shoot i went to amore gardens for hilda bassi's cookathon she was attempting to break the guinness book of world records by cooking for 96 hours non-stop this event was hosted by illo so i had to go support when we got there she had been cooking for 29 hours already and as you can see there were just like pockets of people who had come to support cheer her on because you know it was not an easy fit it was fun it was calm it was nice as you can see again 29 hours and 40 minutes so there's something cool that illo does at every hour he basically does like a countdown every time she reaches a milestone so this was the 30th hour where they had played her favorite gospel song and Ilo was doing a countdown with the crowd. I thought that was so cool. So I went upstairs just to see what it looked like from up and as you can see there weren't that many people you know at some point everybody went home and there were just a few people left so imagine my surprise when the next day I came and there was a full blown revival going on at this event it was like it wasn't where I came to last night <laughs> so what had gotten around people had tweeted people had posted on their social media people had come in their numbers to show support and guys best believe that for as many people as you see here right now there were even more people outside the gate trying to get in and the traffic let's not even get into the traffic situation the traffic was insane but people were still coming in in their numbers <laughs> So at this point she had been cooking for 70 hours y'all and she had 26 more to go but guess what she not only broke that record she added four more hours to it so she cooked for approximately 100 hours and bruh i am so freaking proud i was beyond inspired i'm not gonna lie and just very happy to have been there and witnessed history being made Sorry, all that's in my head right now is wedding, wedding, wedding. They do their burials in twos, especially when the person is old and died and lived a very good life. They will do a first burial and then the celebration of life. So today we're going for the celebration of life. And like I told you in the last vlog, that that's the one that Ella is going to be coming for. It's good. So we're decked out in mm -hmm. our Ashwebi. This is the Ashwebi for the burial. I feel like it, it feels like, eh, eh, get it, get it, get it. Shut up your mom purse. That's the purse that is going to carry the mint notes, isn't it? Yeah. You know, eh, it's to spray. spray the money, <laughs> period. So yes, guys, we're traveling today. Should be fun. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is gone from Ehuda's mm, From Ehuda's thing See you when I get there 
morning guys ah oh, I have been such a terrible vlogger the fact that this is the first time I'm bringing out my camera since I got to Shagamu is insane and I even just brought it out where I look raggedy as hell I mean this is my morning face it doesn't look all that bad you don't look raggedy baby anyway we're reporting live from our hotel room in the United States of Ogun United States of Shagama. I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but you know when I told you guys that that thing was gonna be a carnival? I think I understated it a little bit. What is worse than a carnival? It was a riot. Yes, that's what it was. It was a riot. It was, it was insane. So let me explain to you how Yorubas do their parties and burials and things like this. For those that don't know. So my grandfather has all, all together, he has about 12 children. Now, each of those 12 children have grandchildren. Some of those grandchildren have children. Each of these children will have their tents, right? They can have two, three, four tents, depending on the amount of friends that they have. So each children would kill their own cow, invite their own friends, put their, set up their own tents and chairs and, and live band and DJ and whatever it is, so it's basically like 12 different parties in the same location. Now, aside those 12 children, the grandchildren can decide, you know what, I want to attend too. I want to invite my friends too. Great, great grandchildren can decide, I want to attend too. I want to invite my friends too. I want to do my own party. I want to. So they got one massive field. Everybody put their tent. Everybody invited their friends. Everybody cooked food. Everybody brought their own live band. Everybody got their own DJ. It was a riot. But to be honest, besides the rowdiness, besides the everything that was going on, it was actually so much fun. It was a lot of fun. My blended family came together again. My family, Lou's family. We were all just vibing and jiving. I'm very excited to witness the family I'm marrying into. So he, he witnessed the Eastern family first at the introduction and now he came to meet the western side. It was duly welcome. The Yoruba way, the western way, the Shagamu way. It was, it was beautiful. Can't even lie, besides everything that was going on. But yeah, we're in a hotel room this morning. It's actually not so terrible. It's actually not so bad. Maybe I'll give you a room tour. This hotel reminds me of, if you're an OG subscriber, you know when we were like, when we went to Ibado and we stayed at the University of Ibado the hotel inside the University of Ibadan. To be honest, this particular hotel we're staying is not as crusty, but one thing I've noticed is that Yoruba people have their own aesthetic and Igbo people have their own aesthetics. And you can just see it. Like even if it's not the same place, you can just tell that I'm in the West. And if you're in the East, you know you're in the East. <laughs> 